Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's combine some things, like this Patash. Let's combine our Paddle Chew with this Patash. We'll get a little bit more magic, a little less defense, and a little less HP, and a little more mana. I'd say it's worth it. Oh, magical beast! Re it actually doesn't change anything. It has it has the same skills as before. He's just a little bit more magically inclined now. That's all. There are times where it's more uh, prudent to do some things. Okay, now let's have. All right, let's see. Oh, that's right. There's a new shop over there. What's this guy again? This is the poison dude, right? I think maybe we should merge that with this guy. We'll get a little bit more defense, but a little less speed and magic attack. What's it look like? Well, that just looks scary. It looks like some Velociraptor. We're totally gonna get it. Oh, magic! Alright, cool. Now we can do one more. Our Squaws and the Skyeeb. Huh, I don't know if I like this. It does get Fang a win attack, and its attack doesn't go down or up. His, only his magic attack goes down. What does it look like? Yeah, it looks okay. Let's, let's merge him. I pretty much merge anything of the same elemental type together. It's an odd habit of mine. Mostly because I like going through different skins. The main uh, body gets an... The main... Uh, whoa, no. The main monster gets its exoskeleton. Well, well no. Well, gets its body build, while the second monster is the skin. It's kind of cool. Anyway, last time we got a skeleton key. So let's go and open that chest we saw near the beginning. We may skip some battles this time, unless we see something uh, significant. Yeah, that's a Skyeeb. There's no need to fight it. Okay, if he, a Skawas. If he wants to fight us, then it's a fight he shall... Actually... Do I even want to? I suppose I could. But it's not even really worth it. I mean, once these two guys get to level 4, there's really no need to keep uh, fighting, because it'll take forever to level up. There's a uh, sneak peek of Malty for you. Oh, I missed? Crap. I'm not quite sure what determines hit rate in this game. I'm, I'm assuming speed has something to do with it. I'm not quite sure. And it's probably something I'll never know. I do know that horn attacks and other things like that, the special abilities, they have a little bit less of an accuracy. Let's go. Spells, however, always hit. Spells never miss. Alright, let's keep going. We need to go into that cave over there, so let's go, let's go. Don't see any monsters ahead. One thing I will complain about this game is that the running is a little clunky, but honestly, you really don't need to worry about unless you're running from a monster. Like this paddle chew over here, which we're not going to f I keep saying we're not going to fight them, but apparently... Like I said, clunky, uh, clunky running. I can kill him with one strike, I won't mind. Can't kill him with one strike, I mind. That was a silly thing to do. I resist it. If you somehow find, find it a hard to uh, memorize the circle, of elements, it's it goes clockwise. Just remember it goes clockwise. Alright, nothing to bother us. So let's open this chest. We got some, oh, meta mugworts, shab lurker, and an iron headband. 
So we got a lot of items and an iron headband. So let's equip that iron. No, we won't equip that. Let's not equip that because it slows us down really a lot by a, by a large margin. So let's not equip that. If you're toting the iron sword, uh, maybe you should use it because you already have less speed anyway. The highest amount of attacks you can get is double attack. So if you're already getting double attack, you can tack on defense. Yeah, this paddle choosing my way. I don't think he's gonna let me get past. Yeah, I didn't think so. I kind of like how there are no random encounters. I kind of don't like how there are scripted uh, scenarios where a monster will always be in your way. Sweet. All right, level up. Now our school wasp just needs to like, get the level four. The other time we went to the left, but I don't think there's anything special near that fountain anymore. Other than those bugs. Halt, bo <clears throat> Halt, boy! What? I've heard rumors of men who disguise themselves as cocoon masters to poach game here. Louie, what are you doing? You may be one of them. We must find out whether or not you're the real thing. Well, if it's a chance to beat you up, Louie, I wouldn't uh, refuse. I like, I love how he uh, he gets uh, special music for himself. Let's beat the heck out of him. And what is he holding? I can't see his sword. It might be a glitch with the emulator. Anyway, these are fangs. Take that. Oh, he's not holding anything. Oh, maybe he is. It might be a graphical error. But he's no match for a paddle chew. What the heck was that? Did his dance hurt me? Anyway, we defeated him. I should have had Skaib probably do the killing blow, but oh well. We get a great walnut from defeating him. And no level up. Master Chorus' cottage lies ahead. Go on! Get out of here! Next time I won't go so easy on you! Oh, I'm scared. Well, obviously that was Louie, but who cares. We got a great walnut during that fight. We can actually use it to increase our health. However, it also acts as a sub-tank of sorts. It fully heals our HP, so we only want to use it when we really need to. Inside here, though, we find the Aquazor, a spear. It's got a water elemental affinity to it, and it's a lot more powerful. Let's move on ahead. And also, we can actually see it on our back. It's kind of cool. Is this the way to... Yes, it is. It is the way to him. Okay, so let's check out the fountain a little more, and then... Oh. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Let's use Mukamu to take out the Potomio, and we'll have our Wind Elemental dude take out the Fire one. There we go. One hit KO. Now let's switch to Squasp. as easy as beating up Louie. Honestly, what is Louie thinking? Dressing up as a masked man and attack. God dang it, you monsters. Stop. And you're in twos as well. It's just even more annoying.
crap. No one hit KO? Sheesh. There. Stay down. Got it. All right. I wonder if those poison dudes over there have a... I wonder if they have a changed element. That'd be nice if they did. Poison's a nice thing to have. Inflicting on the enemy is a little bit more important than you think. All right, let's make a quick turn around. And maybe we can avoid this monster for once. So far, it's been... Zero for zero. Come at me, come at me. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yes! Success! Maybe we'll have to deal with them later, though. Who knows? Nothing by here yet. Okay, cool. What a nice little turtle. Oh, I don't think there's anything around here now. But there might be something here. We didn't check everything. Like over here. Oh, it's a circle. Well. Alright, here we go. This is the first air enemy of the game. Terfried. Or Terfraid. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's weak to air. Our Aquazor is not very good on it, so we can't attack it with normal means. We're gonna have to attack it with wind. It's a dog-like enemy. I kinda like these guys. Ouch. They do a lot of damage. Alright, now let's capture it. Ow. This is why I said don't worry about leveling up until you get here. Because these guys are level 3. Yeah, see, since we went from apprentice to novice, we have changed our uh, capture tune to make it more, I don't know, hypnotic, I guess? Sounds better. All right. All right, so we have one firefly and plenty of other things. All the way back here is a satchel. The beetle warp. We can now take these things, which are warp points, to and from the uh, entrance. I don't know why you would. Maybe so you can grind these guys, these level three dudes, without having to walk. Did that guy change element? He was supposed to be green earlier. Oh, okay, whatever. Now it's become a martyr egg. Uh, whatever that means. Which means I want to capture it. Madreg? Mardreg? I don't know. Now, I bet you're all wondering what the difference between horn and fang and all of those other things are. Uh, it's not that important. It's not that important. to hit me like that, but oh well. You know, I didn't even get to show you what the Aguazo looks like when we use it to attack. Oh well. And... Oh, what? Looks like we'll get a chance to use it now. Take this! Man, this guy hurts. Maybe I should have used that iron headband. Oh well. And 
now we got him. Sweet. Maybe I should hold B and tap left and right, huh? How about that, viewers? You think that'll help? Alright, level 5. So we got... We got basically every monster there is in here. At least to my memory. And now we have reached Master Chorus's hut. So... <laughs> the son of the Lion of Peril is even more talented than I had thought. I looked up the Calabas herb in my books, but in the end, I found nothing. What books? I don't see any books in here at all. However, there is a folktale that describes a dust that wakes the sleeping. Okay. It is the story of a wondrous powder kept by a half-bird, half-man named Kikinok, who lives in the Dragonfly Forest. Okay. Perhaps that powder is brewed from the Calabas leaves. Perhaps it is. This is only a guess, and it's all I could find. But I think it is worth looking into. Well, hopefully it is. Here is the key to the Dragonfly Gate. You should have it. Alright, in typical RPG style fashion, we get the key to the next area. You better head straight back to the village and consult with Garai. She may know something about the tale of Kikinak. You must do your best before it is too late. Well, we're on it then. The Divine Spirit defies the Great Father and throws off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. By throwing off our shackles, we are now bound to the chains of freedom. Okay, well, I don't know what that means. And we get sent immediately back to town. So, even Chorus does not know. But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. Kikinok, the bird man. There's a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. Uh, uh, maybe next time we'll hear the story of creation. This is Steamboat27 wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day.